Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at 20 scary videos you shouldn't watch alone. I've recently noticed a lot of comments from people saying they wanted longer videos, and even though it always takes a lot of time finding scary videos that you guys haven't seen before, I made the decision to go a lot further than usual this time around. And some of these videos are among the best I've ever featured on this channel, so be sure to stay tuned throughout. With that said, let's begin. This video was uploaded to YouTube 11 years ago. It was taken on September 1st of 2008 somewhere in France. In this video a few friends had been drinking, and the description of the video provides a translation of what the people in the video were saying. To summarize, they discuss whether they saw something behind a tree, and some of them call it a cat, but to me, this creepy encounter looks much more like an alien than a cat. Take a look. Vous avez vu un truc encore bouger Bon, toi là. Il y a un truc là-bas C'est bon, il y a un truc derrière là. Attendez. Minou, 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 j'ai trouvé ta mère. Putain Il est mignon le chat. Ouais, il est un peu gros le chat, j'aime pas ça. Je vais me barrer. Oh, non Bah il y a un... Bon, c'est deux fils de gueule. Mais pourquoi t'as laissé tomber la torche Pour éclairer, putain If this is a hoax, then it's a pretty damn good one. All the yelling in the end is apparently only in relation to the fire, and none of them seem too distressed by the creature behind the tree. I think most people would run if they saw something like that, but maybe they just couldn't see it properly in the dark. Either way, it's a very intriguing and creepy video that has surely compelled the few who have seen it. YouTube channel Old Phantom 13 uploaded this video of allegedly real poltergeist activity on April 17th, 2010. In the description, the upload of the video wrote, quote, We had been having problems with people breaking into and vandalizing our shop, or so we thought, so we set up several security cameras. This is what one of our cameras picked up, end quote. Pretty creepy stuff. If we assume this was a hoax, then how did they pull it off? With the help of string perhaps? They'd have to cleverly plan out the entire scene and make sure it looked and sounded perfectly. Furthermore, the rattling sound of the lockers wouldn't be easy to achieve if they were simply hiding somewhere out of frame with string attached to the lockers. It could be achieved if someone was hiding inside one of the closed lockers. But what do you guys think? Is this real paranormal activity caught on camera, or is it simply a fake? Whatever the case, it's a creepy piece of footage. It's been quite a while since I featured a Pokong sighting. As some of you probably know by now, the Pokong is also known as a wrapped ghost, due to the fact that it is said to be the soul of a dead person trapped in its shroud. This type of ghost is known in Indonesia and Malaysia. In this video uploaded in 2008, a guy is riding his bike while his friend films him doing so. I have no idea what they're talking about, but I'd guess it's probably not anything particularly relevant to the point of the video, because only 40 seconds into the video, a real Pokong is allegedly caught on camera. 
Alah Afiq, serang Afiq Kamera kau siapa kata tak terang? Weh terang ni, eh cepat angkat Afiq Nampak Cepat lah Betul Afiq Alah kau macam tak bermaya Haa Haa, ok ok Aku mah harapkan ni Afiq Weh Afiq, 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 Afiq Tunggu dulu. Nampak tak? Sini. Nampak tak? Jangan cakap dulu. Jangan cakap lah. Jangan lah. Jangan lah. Jangan lah. Jangan lah. The legend of the Pokong is one of the creepiest I've heard. The ghost appears as a warning to people that their souls need to be released by releasing its ties over the shroud. Because they're tied at their feet, they can't walk, which only gives them the ability to hop like a rabbit, or if you are to believe the encounters people have told of, they are sometimes said to fly or even teleport. This just makes these allegedly real Pokong sightings all the more terrifying. If you ask me, The Proper People is one of the absolute best channels on YouTube when it comes to urban exploration. Their videos are well shot, edited and filled with interesting information. Once in a while, things don't go as planned for them. Sometimes an alarm goes off, sometimes they hear spooky sounds and sometimes they almost get caught. The latter happened on their Europe road trip as they explored a decommissioned power plant. As Michael went inside one of the buildings alone, he planned to find a door to open to let Brian in. However, he started to hear things, and he described it as feeling wrong rather quickly. As he was about to exit through a door, the worst possible thing happened. A security guy opened the door just before him, and since he didn't seem like the friendly type, Michael decided to make a run for it. The security guy proceeded to call the police leaving Michael and Brian with no choice but to hide. Alright. He's coming, run! Run! Call the cops. This is one of the things you fear the most when exploring abandoned places. I was almost caught myself one of the times I explored an abandoned factory back in December of 2017, so I know how scary it can be. Of course, these guys know it more than anybody with the many abandoned places they've explored. Fortunately, after hiding for nearly an hour, the proper people managed to escape. Link to the video as well as their main channel can of course be found in the description of this video. In this video from 2008, a group of kids allegedly has an encounter with a Sasquatch. They are outside playing on a cold foggy day, when one of them spots something in the woods. Take a look. Alright, these guys are playing on some tubes. Don't ask me why. What's that? What is that? What? What is that? Whoa, what the heck? Dude, I don't... What? What is that? I'm not seeing it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Thing? This is history right here. Don't tell me that's a Yeti. I'll try and enhance the few glimpses we get of the Bigfoot, and you guys can make up your own mind on whether or not it's real.
It all seems rather convenient that they managed to capture a Sasquatch on camera while they were outside filming, but who knows? Maybe they just got really lucky. On July 29th, 2008, a guy from Holland uploaded a YouTube video in which he claims to have caught an alien on camera. He said it all started some time prior when he saw a UFO near his house. He thought it could have been an airplane, but then he saw another UFO. Unfortunately, he didn't have the camera on him. He then goes on to say the following in the video, quote, Yesterday there was a very strange thunderstorm. There were only flashes and no thunder sounds, and it reminded me of War of the Worlds. So I went out the night after this, and this is what I found. End quote. In the video, he walks around for 30 minutes, as he suddenly hears what he describes as walking sounds, and he also feels like something is following him. It's hard to make out any facial features on this creature, but it has still convinced many people if you look at the comments on the video. However, some people say it looks like a horse, but it just seems kinda weird if a horse was just randomly wandering about at night in the middle of nowhere, but I suppose it's possible. I'd say it's either a friend of his in a costume of sorts, or if you are to believe the uploader of the video, it's real. It's been quite a while since we had a scary Japanese video featured on this channel. In this video, two people are for some reason playing around on a playground at night. The fun stops rather quickly, however, as they hear a strange knocking sound behind them. They attempt to find the source of the sound when something scary happens. <laughs> <sighs> As is often the case with Japanese ghost videos, it just seems almost too good to be true, but nevertheless, they are great to watch for the entertainment value alone, and they are sure to keep you up at night if you watch a bunch of them before bedtime. Could the ghost in this video be someone who passed away at the playground, or is it perhaps someone following them wherever they go? On Sunday, July 16th, 2006, a guy going by the name Mushmaster on YouTube had a strange encounter in the forest of Tofino, which is a district in Canada. He went out for a hike with his brother while their family stayed at the campground. He wrote the following, quote, We brought a video camera with us, because the area was abundant with deer and bears. In the beginning of the clip, I quickly pulled the camera out of the bag. I filmed for several seconds before rushing forward, at which point my brother pulls me backward. We then ran backwards 50 meters, waited for a while, and returned to the scene, where we saw some very indistinguishable footprints." End quote. He also mentioned that they were both atheists and skeptics. Afterwards, his logical mind thought it was a bear, but his memory deceived his theory, as the animal was about 7 feet tall, hunched over quite a bit. Apparently what they saw was something they couldn't explain. Take a look. Oh, look! <laughs> Okay, uh, this is where we were when we just saw 15 minutes ago a live, I don't know, some sort of humanoid thing, I don't know. Uh, we're in the Enchanted Forest at Tofino, uh, right by that tree over there, over there, yeah, that one. Uh, we saw it, let's go see if we can, uh, I don't know, what, okay. over there somewhere. Uh, see, the, the, that could be a possible footprint, I don't know. Could be. Like, look. Yeah, 
I bet like any foot would like cause some sort of indentation there. I don't know. The video has over the years garnered over 2.5 million views on YouTube. And while many people are skeptical that it was a humanoid encounter, as the uploader claims it was, there are still many who believe it to be a cryptid of some kind. Considering he still stands by the fact that it wasn't a hoax to this day, maybe there is some truth to it. When YouTube user Mike Stanton 1985 went camping in Big Bear with his wife sometime in 2009, they saw something very strange. A bunch of people are chatting when they hear a noise that they just kind of joke about to begin with. But then a strange creature appears on top of their camper van. Hands, He's Rambo. Okay, you know, Rambina, more like it. <laughs> what was that, Rambo? I'm, I'm gonna catch okay. that. You hear that what noise? Was that? I'm gonna catch that. that. You couldn't catch that if, if I Dude, I let got my you. knife right here. Yeah. <laughs> what that the fuck is that? Oh, oh, oh. ah. you, you guys are... What do you guys think this was? An animal, an unknown creature, or a hoax? To me, their reactions do seem genuine, but I'm not quite sure. It depends what you think is a natural reaction to an encounter, such as this. A few of the people who have watched the video were creeped out by it, while some said it looked like E.T. This next video features a ghost sighting that might be a bit hard to see. A woman filming from her bedroom window spotted a shadowy being darting from left to right, outside in the dark. It is noticeable thanks to the street lights. While it's hard to see, something definitely appears to be there. Putting on a sitcom show uh, based on contemporary uh, values with that twist, a wonderful twist. It just stopped outside the window. Prehistoric And there it goes again. Straight out the front. It's a very creepy video indeed, but could it really be a shadow person? Or was it some strange shadow created by something in front of the lights outside? Either way, it's strange and hard to come up with a clear explanation for what this is. In July of 2008, two friends are playing football when one of them notices a strange figure in the distance. But as they go to investigate the location which it ended up at, it's suddenly gone. Take a look. Wait, wait. No mames, no sé, güey, a ver, vamos a ver. Ahora sí, güey. Vea, ya nos cayó el duende. Ah, ¿cuál duende? No mames, aquí ha de estar escondido, a ver. No me agarres de la playera, güey, no te asustes. No mames, güey, ¿qué era esa madre? No mames, güey. With the blurry quality of the video, it could of course be easier to hoax this one. But nevertheless, it seems many people were creeped out when initially watching this one. With over 1 million views since its release, it has surely made an impression on many. And it's creepy to imagine, if it were to be real, what this figure is supposed to be. Is it possibly a humanoid creature? You decide. On July 16, 2010, at around 4.45 a.m., a man went out on his neighborhood street with his camera to capture something strange he'd seen. From the audio, it sounds like he has a friend of his with him. 
as the camera operator puts down the camera, a figure which he describes as an alien is clearly noticeable through the night vision. It also makes strange noises. Right down here, if it went across that way, or who? I'm just gonna put the camera down right here on this pole. Dude, look through the night vision. Look on the screen. See, what is that? Hello? Hey, who is that? This tripped me out, dude. You know what? One thing I noticed is that the sound of the alien creature doesn't quite transition well with the audio. It sounds like if it was a sound effect that the uploader didn't know how to fade out the sound effect to make it sound more realistic. But that's just my own speculation. The figure itself does look very authentic and it's weird how it almost appears like there's a camera glitch on top of it. Most people who've seen the video agree that it's scary, but what do you guys think this is? The uploader wrote the following in the description, quote, I had just gotten to work, and Alby got there shortly afterwards. We went to investigate what I thought was an animal in the parking lot of the office. I heard a sound that I cannot describe, and the crappy camera sounds weird compared to what we heard. End quote. Maybe that explains the weird sound. As the Paranormal Files investigated the John Lowe murder house for paranormal activity, it wasn't the ghost that scared them the most, it was a person. As they were about to end the episode and had already left the house, one of them realized they had left some gear behind, so they went back to retrieve it. But as they were about to return to the car, they realized that someone was running after them from the rural road at night. This happened only shortly after one of them had mentioned the fact that people would hide in the woods ready to hurt anyone who'd come by. Colin managed to capture the flashlight of the person chasing them down the road. Oh, oh my god, I just ran onto the f***ing uh... What? Are we stuck? <laughs> Stop, are we stuck? Man, there is a torch. Are we stuck? No, we're good. No, I just drove onto the f***ing uh, log in front of us. Bro, what the f***? So with a the light. They're sprinting. Is this a public road? Yeah. That connects to somewhere else? Yeah. You literally start sprinting. It's scary to think what would have happened if the person caught them. And it's a mystery if the person was just trying to scare them, or if he was actually gonna try and hurt them. Either way, it's a good thing they managed to get away in time. Be sure to check out the Paranormal Files for more entertaining and scary paranormal investigations. Dan Bell uploaded a new scary ghost documentary on March 29th, 2019, in which he, along with Rick, caught some very scary sounds on camera. At the halfway point of the video, they returned to the abandoned Uplands mansion, beyond just the exterior and interior of the mansion being creepy enough by itself, it gets even scarier when they hear unexplainable noises inside. Here are two especially scary moments of the documentary. the door. Is 
Hello, is there somebody back here? It would seem like there were no other people in there with them, as they seemed to look around every corner of the mansion. They found no one. Perhaps those noises were the ghosts still haunting the place. Like all the other videos of Dan Bell, this documentary is well shot and edited and makes you truly scared of the dark. So be sure to check out the full one hour documentary. Link is in the description. This video may not show a scary ghost or creature, but it does show a particularly unsettling incident in which a person with eye shine chases down a couple of friends in a car. Take a look. Bro, I don't, I don't, get the light on my face! Yes. I don't see you! It's right there! Ghost right, 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 ghost While I'm assuming this video was uploaded to the internet for comedic purposes and for people to make memes out of, it still scared the hell out of a lot of people who have watched it. The speed in which he sprints toward them and the fact that he has eye shine makes it quite disturbing. Of course it's easy to see the humorous nature of the video and laugh about it, which I'm sure many do. Among the reactions were these comments. The last few seconds were terrifying and this was the funniest video I've seen all year. It just goes to show that people can have very different perceptions of what could be considered horror and what could be considered comedy. At least in some cases such as this. What do you guys think? Was it scary or just simply a funny video? We saw stuff again. I swear my house is haunted were the words YouTube user Vincent Studios wrote in the description of his video titled Freaky Stuff in Our Backyard, which was uploaded on February 8, 2008. He took this video at night and he was accompanied by another person. They were looking for something in the backyard, but throughout the video it's hard to tell what it is. But just take a look and see what happens. Ah oh, man, I don't know the... Uh... Oh, there we go. The flashlight wasn't on. All right, Jeffrey, you're gonna you're gonna have to tell me where you saw it. Okay. Did you see it around there? No. 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 All right, let's just let's just wing it. Come on. Okay. Oh, that's my flashlight. Jesus Christ! I was like freaked out. Jeffrey, I was taping like the edge of my flashlight and I thought I was like taping another world or some shit like that. Alright, alright. What did you... Where did you see it? Okay, you say... You know, Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, okay, just one. Just one! What the hell was that? Jaffe, if you want to go back to France, just run! Okay, just get in, get in, get in. Oh my god. Oh. The mystery now, of course, is what the hell was crashing into the door at the end? The uploader seems to believe it to be something paranormal, which it very well could be. But the fact still is that nothing could be seen in the video, or maybe something was noticeable and I just didn't catch it. If you guys saw anything, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'm sure some of you got a jump scare at the end of the video, which I won't blame you for, because it definitely also startled me a bit the first time I watched it. A group of friends are sitting in the dark playing a board game when suddenly, in the back of the room, 
a humanoid creature can be seen crawling around on all fours. It appears again a few seconds later. It is described as a creature of hell, and the video was uploaded to YouTube in June of 2009. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at this alleged creature. They surely don't seem all that scared about it. Maybe they played some sort of a board game in the dark that could help them conjure this being. That's of course just speculation, as I don't speak their language. I do however believe it to be Portuguese, but I could be wrong. I'm sure some of you guys are able to translate what is being said. The creature seems to have quite a large head. Could that be a mask? Or was it just a friend of theirs crawling around? We won't know for sure due to the obscurity of this video. Campus Catch Weird Creature on Film is the title of the video you're about to watch, and it shows exactly what the title suggests. But you'll also be able to hear a strange noise that I'm assuming the creature makes at the exact moment it appears. I once showed this video on an old rake video of mine, but that was a low quality version, with no audio, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to show the real version. The stick's getting pretty damn sharp. Eh? Oh fuck, the smoke is in my face. Well, you've been sharpening it for like two hours. No. Do you hear something? No, it's a dog. Okay. It's probably shy though. Yeah, I'm gonna take pictures now. Whether it's real or fake, it's still very creepy and authentic looking. Many people, however, think it's just a friend of theirs crawling around. But imagine being out camping and seeing this in the middle of the woods. The guys didn't seem to notice the creature at all. They only heard the strange sound. Let's take another look at the video enhanced. It's one of the creepiest creature sightings I've been able to find as of recent. When the well-known YouTuber Exploration Unknown went to explore an abandoned occult mansion, he got a scarier experience than he probably expected. Hello? <coughs> this floor don't feel very good. This floor don't feel... Oh my god, Freelander. Hello? Is there somebody here? I'm not here to bother or rob anything. I was just here exploring. I thought it was a baby. Oh, 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 Okay. Oh my god, guys, I'm back to where I think I'm safe. Oh my god, I'm back to where I was parked at. Oh my god. That. Ain't nobody's following me. I don't see anybody. 
When exploring abandoned locations, you should be more scared of the people than the ghosts, as they are much more likely to be dangerous. As you could very clearly hear, he wasn't alone. Someone else was in there with him, and he was lucky it wasn't someone out to hurt him. But it of course still startled John, who got away as fast as he could. So remember to always be careful when urban exploring. You never know who, or what, might be hiding inside those abandoned buildings. I thought it would be fitting to end off this video with a classic ghost sighting, one that I was shocked that I'd never seen before. It was uploaded by a YouTube channel known as The Historical Preservation Society. The description states the following, quote, Due to the overwhelming number of requests from the community, the Historical Preservation Society has decided to release a couple of selections from our own ever-growing collection of security camera footage. These videos were captured by the motion-sensitive security cameras in the main hall of the old school building located in Cameron, Missouri. End quote. Apparently, the old school in which the security camera footage was caught is known by many to be haunted. No matter what the event, they always heard reports of people experiencing strange sounds or seeing strange things during their visit to the building. What you're about to see is one of those strange things they mentioned. In the video, they tell us that the motion-activated cameras in the main hall and upstairs record activity on an almost nightly basis between 10pm and 2am. The following footage was caught on October 2nd, 2013 at approximately 1.45 a.m. and 2.15 a.m. Even if it were to be a hoax, it's still a genuinely creepy piece of footage. It depicts what I think is a classic type of ghost, a woman dressed in white. But due to the blurriness of the video, I could be mistaken as to the appearance of the figure. Maybe other people perceive it as looking like a different type of ghost. Be sure to let me know what you guys think. And that was 20 scary videos you shouldn't have watched alone. But I'm guessing many of you did just that anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sirs Books, and I'll see you all in the next video.